so hello friends welcome back to the automation revolution in this video uh, we'll learn about organization block in a Siemens PLC so in our uh, basic video of the PLC we have seen uh, how to make a basic programming how to use uh, main OB uh, but now uh, we will uh, go for the advanced organization block and uh, what are the priorities what are the use of this uh, OBs that we will see in this video so please keep watching uh, this video and be concentrated on that so uh, first of all uh, we know about operating system and uh, main ob so main ob is periodi uh, periodically uh, and a cyclic ob and which is ex executing as per the period uh, given uh, to cpu and uh, it can call to function or function block as per the instruction and uh, it will execute cyclically so now uh, we will see the next uh, overview of organization block so uh, first startup OB will see OB100, uh, OB101 uh, and 102. So these are the startup OB uh, while uh, PLC is going from stop mode to uh, run mode. So in that case uh, the startup OB will execute uh, only once and uh, what are the uh, logic we have developed in this OB that will execute only once when PLC will uh, go from uh, stop to uh, run mode. So this is a uh, warm restart OB. Uh, 100 and uh, this is hot restart and uh, this is cold restart ob 102 that we will see in deep and uh, uh, later on <laughs> then uh, cyclic program execution is coming so main ob uh, 1 which is period uh, periodically executing uh, cycle and what are the logic uh, we have developed in this main ob that will uh, call execute uh, periodically then uh, next we have periodic program execution so in that uh, OB uh, 10 to 17 that time uh, time of day interrupts are coming and OB 30 to 38 that are uh, that uh, cyclic interrupt uh, OBs are coming. Next uh, we, we can see uh, event driven program execution OB are coming. So time delay interrupts, hardware interrupts, uh, asynchronous uh, error and synchronous error this type OB are coming uh, event driven or program execution OBs. So all these uh, OB have different priority. So uh, maximum priority is uh, about this error OB. So uh, OB uh, 121, 122, uh, 122 has uh, higher, higher priority uh, OBs. And uh, then OB uh, 80 to 87 is coming. Then uh, this hardware interrupt uh, OBs have the priority. The next is uh, time delay interrupt. And uh, last OB1 has lowest priority. So when uh, any uh, error is coming, so first this error OB will execute and uh, then this uh, hardware or time delay interrupt uh, OB will execute. So every OB has different priority and based on that priority uh, this instruction will execute and it will perform the operation. So these are the uh, algorithm. Uh, for warm restart and uh, hot restart you can see so OB uh, 100 is warm restart uh, 101 is hot restart uh, only for uh, S1 400 PLC and uh, next we can see the startup OB uh, for cold restart so this is the basic algorithm uh, that will not go in, uh, in deep next uh, this interrupting the cycle program that we will see. So you can see this OB1 is executing con continuously and uh, as per the period it will uh, perform the operation. Meanwhile uh, when there is uh, error is coming uh, from the PLC so, so that time OB82 uh, that is the highest priority 26 will execute and uh, it will hold a main OB and uh, first it will perform the OB82 uh, instruction. Second lowest priority is uh, time delay interrupt. So uh, the priority is three number, and OB20 uh, will execute, and that time OB1 will have hold, and after executing OB20, uh, OB1 once again uh, cyclically ex execute. Next, uh, this time of day interrupt is coming, and uh, it will execute uh, the cycle. Here uh, in this table you can see uh, the priority and 
OB number, OB type. So lowest priority is OB1 cyclic program and highest priority we can uh, go for this error handling. So uh, 25 or 28 highest priority is for OB82 uh, for error handling. So you can configure this uh, time of day interrupt OB10 uh, in the PLC uh, property hardware that we will see uh, practically. This is the execution cycle. So uh, this OB1 is uh, continuously executing as per the interval or period. And meanwhile OB35 means cyclic OB will execute uh, when uh, this interval uh, will complete. So uh, this OB35 has uh, highest priority and uh, then OB1 has lowest priority. You can see here priority uh, 12 is for OB35 and uh, priority 1 is for uh, main OB, OB1. How to configure the hardware interrupt uh, OB40 uh, that we will see uh, uh, later on. So you can configure any uh, analog or digital module and based on hardware interrupt uh, we can uh, make the uh, we can perform the logic in the plc here yeah asynchronous error table is there so type of error example and uh, ob priority they have given so when uh, time error is coming so example like uh, maximum scan cycle time exceeded that time ob80 uh, will execute and uh, it's have highest priority 25 when power supply uh, fold is there so that time uh, we can uh, execute this OB81 uh, for example this uh, battery uh, backup failure diagnosis interrupt and uh, insert remover uh, uh, this interrupt CPU hardware fold program execution cycle and uh, rack fold so these are the uh, type of error all have different OB and uh, this priority is 25 or 28. And synchronous error, uh, so these are the programming error or access error. For example, uh, a block that is not present in the CPU is called the program. So that uh, we can uh, uh, take into this programming error and the module that is either effective or not present the address in the program so that uh, we can uh, uh, this <coughs> modify uh, for this access error so the, these are the uh, this syn synchronous error have the highest priority ob uh, 121 and ob uh, 122 so uh, the highest priority ob will execute first and then later on uh, the second uh, priority for the ob and then last ob1 will execute so uh, th this is the continuously uh, uh, flow of uh, the main ob and uh, different ob's that uh, we can use in plc so now we will see practically how we can uh, execute the program and uh, we can use the OB in uh, PLC. So now we are in Siemens TI portal software and uh, you can see here I have configured Siemens 1200 uh, series PLC and these are the different organization block uh, that we are uh, using for different application and event. Uh, from this program block, add new block, uh, you can get the total list of different OBs uh, so uh, we can perform some of the OBs uh, right now and uh, we will see practically how uh, this OB can be used uh, for certain events so first this program cycle uh, is like a main OB and uh, this uh, this is where you can place uh, the instruction and control your application uh, like main OB so this uh, this is general uh, purpose programming uh, block uh, you can use for uh, this instruction next is uh, startup ob so this uh, startup ob only execute only once uh, when this plc is uh, changing the state from stop to run mode so you can see here uh, i have used this startup ob ob uh, 100 you can also call uh, warm restart and here we have this nc contact and Q0.3 so when I will uh, change the state uh, stop to run mode so it will only execute one and this Q0.3 will be on after that if I will uh, trigger uh, this I0.0 uh, input so there, there will be no any impact on this Q0.3 
so this output will be continuously on uh, when uh, it will change from stop to run mode next is a uh, cyclic interrupt ob uh, 30 so this cyclic interrupt ob uh, we can use uh, for different cycle so you can uh, you can uh, change this cycle time in millisecond from here so see so this uh, cyclic interrupt ob uh, allows you to start program at different period, uh, periodic intervals so that uh, we have uh, seen in previous our video uh, the cyclic inter have the different uh, this cyclic time and as per the time it will uh, execute periodically next is a uh, hardware interrupt uh, ob uh, 40 so for the hardware inter uh, interrupt uh, first you need to enable uh, this hardware interrupt from this cpu property so from we will go for this plc property and uh, here we have different digital and analog uh, input so we can we will uh, right now enable digital input so from the channel 0 here we have option uh, enable rising edge detection and falling edge detection so here a uh, hardware interrupt we will assign so after taking this hard drive, hardware interrupt uh, ob uh, you can assign hardware interrupt here and uh, we will uh, right now enable rising edge uh, for the detection so the channel 0 means uh, when i will enable i0.0 uh, 0 input in that case uh, it will trigger at rising edge and uh, what are the logic we have developed in this hardware interrupt ob uh, that will execute so when i will trigger i0.0 so that time uh, this q0.4 will be on so that also we will see uh, the next <laughs> then uh, we will see time delay interrupt so this time delay interrupt oh, we will execute uh, as per uh, special inst instruction that uh, we have used here in main ob so this is the special instruction uh, SRT uh, DIND if you open uh, help menu for this time delay interrupt so from there uh, you can get the detail SRT uh, DIND instruction so this is the instruction uh, for this uh, enable here we have to given uh, this OB number for delay interrupt OB this is uh, this time delay so after this time delay uh, what are the logic we have developed in this time delay interrupt that will execute here uh, we can give uh, memory word for sign and uh, return value so right now i have given uh, delay time 5 second so when i will enable this i0.1 uh, after 5 second uh, this logic uh, will execute and it will update uh, q0.2 uh, output from the plc so that uh, we can use for time delay interrupt so when there is interrupt in that case this uh, ob will execute uh, last is time of day so for the time of day uh, we have to make some uh, changes so first uh, we will go for plc online and uh, from the online and diagnosis we will open set time so here uh, we can uh, set the time from the pgpc so we will uh, set the time what are the set from the, our pc or pg and uh, then uh, we will go for cpu uh, hardware property and here uh, you can get this option time of day so as per your uh, the pc uh, pc time uh, you can set this time zone and uh, here you need to uh, start uh, time saving so this is uh, you can configure the start and uh, standard time uh, from this menu after that uh, you need to take this time of day ob and uh, 
from this property uh, you will got get epsilon this time of day interrupt so in last uh, time of day interrupt you can uh, get execution option so th there are different options every minute once early uh, daily as and uh, end of the month you can set the start date and time of uh, day so when uh, this date and time will match our pgbc and uh, in that case this logic will perform so when uh, we have downloaded the cpu uh, this time of dob so when this date and time will match and uh, this date will uh, occur and that case the logic uh, in this time of day will execute only once if you uh, update every minute so every minute uh, time of day interrupt will execute and every minute it will update uh, this output so that will also uh, see in this video so after uh, making this logic uh, i will download in the plc